A Bartholomew County first grader died suddenly after testing positive for the flu. New tonight, RTV6's Matthew McClellan spoke to the girl's family in Columbus. Seven-year-old Savannah Jesse was a student here at Lincoln Elementary School. We just spoke with her family who says they will remember Savannah for the love and light she brought into their lives. Everybody is devastated. It's, you never expect it to happen to you. Ever. When Courtney Hargett held her niece for the last time. I can picture her sitting on my lap and smiling. She had no idea goodbye would come so suddenly. The first grader lived with her father in Columbus. We got news Friday that she had been sick and that he had taken her to the hospital. Um, Friday, I'm sorry, Thursday evening. And that after they left the hospital, he took her home, put her in bed and then found her Friday morning. Savannah was unresponsive. Medics rushed her to Columbus Regional Hospital, where she was pronounced dead. She'd been treated after testing positive for flu, strep, and scarlet fever. Savannah came into this world seven weeks early. She was a fighter, but boy, was she strong. And as she grew, she was so smart. Smartest little girl you would ever meet, and she loved, she smiled. She loved to make people laugh. That laughter giving way to silence than tears. There's obviously a sense of sadness around the school today. Tracy Kaiser has a daughter at Lincoln Elementary. My daughter knew her as a, as a happy child and, and, you know, somebody that the kids looked forward to spending time together with. Bartholomew County Superintendent Dr. Jim Roberts today saying, quote, please keep the child's family and the CSA Lincoln community in your thoughts. Meanwhile, Savannah's family with this warning to other parents. Be careful. M monitor your children very closely and make sure they're vaccinated. A forensic pathologist completed an autopsy today, but the final ruling on Savannah's cause of death may take up to three weeks. Reporting in Columbus, Matthew McClellan, RTV6.